All right, coming to you live on a Tuesday morning here for this week at the Chamber. You know, life happens, business happens. We didn't get to it yesterday. Just one, one, one day late, and you know what? That's okay. We still got a full week. We proved that yesterday by having a full Monday, so let's do it. <laughs> yeah, we normally do. All right, so this week, you know, actually, we're here early this morning because we have a board meeting this morning, our monthly board of directors meeting talking about what's going on at the chamber, you know, talking about investor updates, committee updates, all of the, all of that good stuff. Uh, and then later today. Yeah. We've got an economic development committee, not on a regular date and time, but we're pulling together all of our prime businesses, our major industries uh, to review a number of workforce development programs that uh, we're delivering to them to make sure that uh, they're comfortable with them and what they expect from uh, future fit, ready for life, and our own local win program. So we're excited to uh, to share that information and get their feedback from our major employers. And then Thursday, we have a ribbon cutting for Holt Memorial Chapel. They're actually celebrating 35 years, years with us. Yeah, 35 years with us here at the chamber. Um, they've got new owners, right, Bob? Right, they have new owners, uh, new owners and we're going to help them uh, celebrate the new ownership, come and meet them, yep. uh, as well as this very significant milestone in the history of Holt Memorial Chapel. Yeah, it looks good out there, too. You can see all yep. the, the remodels, the facelifts, all of the fresh yeah. cuts of paint. It, it looks good. So, Oh, it's looking good, yeah. I and then... There. Thursday yeah. at 10 30 a.m. and then and Thursday evening we've got the Harrison City Council meeting uh, which time we'll present the uh, second quarter of 2021 economic development update with some exciting news we hope uh, uh, be able to uh, announce a, a new a, a new venture coming to town uh, but this is our, our quarterly update that we provide four times a year to the city council, much like we did to the Boone County Quorum Court last week. So um, engaging with the city council who are very supportive of the economic and business development efforts of our chamber and our community, we're excited to do that. Cool. We're ready. Let's get yeah. ready to roll and get these directors in here and get them, yeah. get them started. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us. Real quick, Bob, just give us maybe a minute or less on on workforce. We're all talking about workforce yeah. across the nation. Everybody's hiring, it seems like. But number you know, one, yeah. Number, no, what's no, going no. on? Well, number one issue, um, you know, Gen Xers are retiring. You couple that with COVID-19 and the federal subsidies not to work. Uh, people can make more money by... Uh, you know, by setting at home, uh, you look at all of these factors and they're just kind of building on one another. So the governor uh, has rolled out a statewide program called Ready for Life, which is a long-term uh, roadmap to acquaint students, parents, teachers, uh, industry uh, managers with the value of the workplace and the workforce. Uh, it's a it's a long term program starts third or fourth grade literally tracks the individual through school through their career and uh, it, it's a great program it's a portal and a platform that will be long lasting then we've got future fit from the Arkansas Economic Development Commission that's going to upskill our workforce as uh, most of you know, technology is at the heart of manufacturing today and all of our local businesses have made a major investment in technology. So this is getting the work workforce ready uh, to utilize that technology in a 100 hour program uh, conducted by North Arkansas College. So there's not a silver bullet. You know, we still got 350 vacancies uh, here in the community and we need to get those filled. Now, is this is this Harrison's issue? Is this Boone's it's, issue? Yeah, yeah, ex excellent question. Uh, yes, it's Harrison's issue. Yes, it's Boone County issue. It's actually an Arkansas issue. It's a United States uh, issue. Mm. Um, it's everybody. It, we're, we're no different here, except 
we don't have the massive numbers. For instance, Jonesboro has got over 3,000 vacancies in prime mm-hmm. businesses today. So we're lucky to only have 350. And, and, and it's something that we have to keep a priority on. Hence, mm-hmm. all of these various programs that attack different pieces of it. That's why we're doing something about it. We are trying to do something about it, and I think we're going to succeed. Yep. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Have a great day.